welcome to to JLC 2 book 5 session 3 although pang fourth meeting na natin to session 3 pa lang pinagpalit yung ano yung 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 uh, magkakasunod so habang nagpe-prepare ako dito sa ano dito sa uh, topic na to no napansin ko na pinagbibilang ko yung mga number of pages ng mga book. Yung book 1, 97 pages. Yung book 2, 102. Yung Galatians, 163. CCFDNA, 148. At yung book natin ngayon, ang pinakamalipis. 71 pages. And yung sa 71 pages na yun, for tonight, 5 pages lang din yung pagdadaanan natin, no? Kalahati lang siya ng... DNA, kalahati lang siya nung Siyempre, galit siya sa okay Bible yun eh But uh, ang next one is 79 na So, medyo Maliit yung ano natin Yung curriculum natin I'm not sure kung, kung bakit ganon Pero uh, Nalit tayo ng konti Hindi ibig sabihin na maliit yung materials natin Makakawi tayo ng maaga Actually um, Ang inisip ko Itong uh, roles of a group, small group leader, na matututunan ba natin ito using a book? Yung ganyang kanipis na book? Or matututunan natin to pag nandun na tayo as a leader? Uh, ano kaya yun? Uh, so, for tonight, um, mag interchange ko yung group leader and leader and discipler. Pero for me, uh, personally, ang pinaka uh, mataas doon is yung discipler. So, ma mapag-interchange ko ng paiba-iba yun. But, uh, so pag sinabi kong leader, malamang group leader. Pag sinabi kong small group leader, leader pa rin. Pag sinabi kong discipler, kayo yun. Okay? pala, 71. Sa ikang pages na yun. Habang nag-prepare ako, may nakita akong uh, in, uh, image sa, sa internet. So, hindi to akin. Malik ako lang. Ito yung title niya. Oop! Di malabas. Do you seriously think God can use you? Pinati ko muna kasi mahaba yan eh. Noah was a drunk? Sino bang nandito? Uh, lasing. Wala. Abraham was too old. Wala namang... Actually, walang 15 na above dito eh. Pag-aralong ko, di ba? <laughs> Isaac was a daydreamer. Leah was ugly. So, ako ayaw akong mapatandaan na. Eh, ganun na. Ayaw ako yung author. Leah was ugly daw. Uh, Joseph was abused. Moses had a stuttering problem. Gideon was afraid. Samson had long hair and was a womanizer. Mga mahaba buko. Baka isipin nyo, may, may, may dress code or uh, ano yun, recommended haircut yung mga small group leader, yung mga ginagamit ni, ni God. Rehab was a prostitute. Jeremiah and Timothy were too young. Meron ba dito ang 25 and below? Ayun, layo. Ayun, ayun. Hindi, <laughs> okay yan, okay yan. Okay yun, nag, at least nag, nag-volunteer, di ba? <laughs> Jeremiah and Timothy were too young. David had an affair. And was a murderer. No, kung meron kayong affair or murderer kayo, diretso na lang kayo kaya, no, may kuya popit nandun siya sa halo. Huwag <laughs> niyo nang idahan sa akin. Dumaretso. So yung second part, ito. Elijah was suicidal. Isaiah preached naked. Wala pa naman akong nakikita ganun. Hindi natin start yun sa GLC. Jonah ran from God. And check. Naomi was a widow. Job went bankrupt. Peter denied, denied Christ. Check. The disciples fell asleep, asleep while praying. So may mga iba sa ating ano, ano, nakatulog. Martha worried about everything. The Samaritan woman was divorced. Zacchaeus was too small. Sin dito ng ano? 
At least yung mga amen, di ba? Honesty. Paul was too religious. Timothy had an ulcer. Sa mga minis ko yung sakit. Kahit may sakit. <coughs> Lazarus was dead. Okay? So check nyo yung katabi nyo. Kung buhay pa yan, gagamitin ni Lord yan. Kung patay na, pwede pa rin. Kasi si Lazarus patay na, nagamit pa. So, my point is, if hindi kayo, if God is not disqualifying you, do not disqualify yourself. Kasi tayo mismo, hindi natin pinag-aapiwalaan sa dito natin. And I've been there before also, na ako mismo, I will disqualify myself. Pero, uh, coming from that experience, yung masabi ko, don't disqualify yourself yet. Okay. So, okay. Ito yan. Yung mahaba kasi, so maliit. So, kinrap ko, sinundin para makita sa likod. So, okay. Seriously, uh, God, think God can choose you. Eh, eh, paano naman po yung mga walang alam? Sino dito yung mga walang alam? Mga hindi marunong sa Bible? Uh, ayun. Ayan, ang maganda. Yung hindi gifted, hindi skilled, walang ano, walang, walang talent. Sino? Sino? Tignan natin. Tignan natin. Yung mga ano, yung mga wala. Walang talent. Oo, may talent. Okay. Okay. Yung mga nahihiya, Okay. Yung mga nahihiya, ito yung ano, Brothers and sisters, think of what you were when you were called. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were influential. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. God chose the lowly things of this world and the despised things and the things that are not. And the things that are not, to nullify the things that are, so that no one may boast before him. So, sino yung mga diktas kanina na walang alam? Okay. Hindi pa naging exempted. Sorry. <laughs> because God chooses. Okay? We don't get to choose. God chooses. And also, this is not a gift. Okay? Malalaman natin mga mga, this is not a gift. Tingin ko hindi rin ito talent. Malalaman natin mga mga. Konti, konti, konti na lang. <laughs> Which is the next slide. <laughs> and David shepherded them with integrity of heart. With skillful hands, he led them. So, ganda yan. Ang galing ng, ng Psalms, no? Nung nagsulat ng Psalms. Isipin mo, maraming tao ngayon, skillful, but they don't have integrity of heart. Ako, para sa akin, mas gusto ko na na yung bibigay mong tawa sana is merong integrity. Yung skill, mapapractice yan eh. Ma, 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 Mahukun natin yan. Mapapatalim mapapa, natin yan eh. Pero yung integrity, hindi ito nakikita basta-basta. And so, David Shepard then, then with integrity of heart, Psalm 78, 72. During this time, si God, nire-rebuild niya yung Israel. And yung sa... Uh, so previous verses, God chose, God, uh, teka, kunin ko yung aking Bible. <clears throat> okay. There's a, there's a verses before that. Cho, eh, ito lagi kaya sabi ni God, it's a Bible with He, but chose the tribe of Judah, He built His sanctuary, He chose David. So si God lagi, si God lagi yung merong initial part ng ginagawa. Now, by God's grace, we can see David as a man of integrity and a man with skillful hands. Now, ngayon, tayo nag- nag- Pag-aantay as a small group leader or leader, uh, by God's grace din to eh. Now, we can lead people by integrity. 
and with skillful hands. It doesn't mean na pag leader na tayo, kakalimutan na natin yung grace. Hindi. We were saved by grace and we will continue by grace. Actually, habang tumatagal nga, parang mas, mas na-appreciate natin yung grace, mas kinakailangan natin yung grace. Lalo na, sa inyong mga magiging leader, kailangan-kailangan to. And so, dun sa mga magiging disciples niyo sa buhay nila, kailangan nila ng grace. It's by grace of God that they are that they are growing up. By the grace of God, they are uh, um, they they understand the Bible. But also, sa leaders, God's grace works also in you for to work on your integrity and your training as a leader. Okay. Matthew 9, 36, 38. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. As the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his har- harvest field. So, the more that we spend time with God in reading His, his reading His message, in praying, in in, uh, in obedience to His word, habang ginagawa natin yon, we spend time with Him, we follow Him, we obey Him. Mas naikilala natin yung Panginoon. Habang naikilala natin siya, mas naiintindihan natin yung salita niya, mas naiintindihan natin yung principles niya, mas naiintindihan natin yung mga ginagawa niya na hindi lang basta inuto, hindi lang basta itinuro, pero merong patutunguhan. And so, as we walk together with God, as we follow Him, as we read this Word, as we pray, bandang muli, mangyayari sa atin to eh. When He saw the crowds, He had compassion on them. As we get closer to God, we become like Him also. We become Christ-like. And then, dahil kilala natin ang Panginoon, hindi lahat ng tao nakakilala sa Panginoon. So as a leader, one of our jobs is, ito si God, nandiyan yung, ano, yung mga disciples niyo, para niya silang introduce sa isa't isa. Ang sasabi mo, uh, disciple, this is my God. This is the God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And the same, and the, the same thing, God, ito yung mga ano, yung mga pinbiligay mo sa akin, disciple. I'm reintroducing them to you. We, we, we are in your presence to serve you. And then, verse 30, ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. So, why don't we just do that, no? Ask the Lord to send out workers in the Holy Spirit that is praying. Um, Almighty Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this night. We thank you, Lord, for everyone here, Lord, who are willing to, to be available, Lord, to be changed by your word. Lord, um, you said in your word that we are to make disciples. And we are here, Lord, to do just that. We are here to make disciples. We are here to make disciples, Lord. And Lord, in your promise, Lord, you said you will be with us. And we pray, Lord, and we expect, Lord, that you will be with us tonight to teach us and to touch our hearts, Lord God. So Lord, uh, by faith, Lord God, we put on the belt of truth. We put on the breastplate of righteousness. We put on the readiness of the gospel of peace, Lord God. We carry the shield of faith, Lord. And we put on the helmet of salvation and we wield your your sword, Lord. The sword of your word, Lord God. May we wield your sword faithfully, efficiently, Lord God, effectively, Lord, and may we not be ashamed of your word, Lord God. Lord, be with us, Lord, tonight as we make disciples. In Jesus' name, we pray. Okay. Ito na. Start time. Introduction lang yun. Pasensya na.
cultivating the heart of a shepherd. Okay, make your identity as a leader clear. Basahin nga natin itong John 10. Very truly, Okay. So, as a shepherd, the plan of Jesus is to take care of the lamb and sheep and to feed the lamb and sheep. So, as as mini, you know, mini shepherd, as our as shepherds of, of our own sheep, dapat ganun din yung ano natin, ganun din yung yung aim natin. Kasi, ganun yung aim ng Diyos natin eh. Unlike yung Pharisees, unlike yung thief and the robber, they use the, the sheep for their own purposes. They use the sheep for uh, for something else. But for us, our our uh, our command is clear. To take care of the sheep, to feed the sheep, take care of the lambs and feed the lamb. Uh, we'll ma may encounter natin yun later. Um, okay. About sa, sa identity of a leader. Um, naalala ko, first time akong nag-attend ng T-group sa CCF Manila, naalala ko pa yung topic namin nun. Ang topic namin nun, Genesis chapter 15. Uh, ano nangyari? Uh, inutusan ni God si Abraham na magdala ng mga hayop at hatiin sa dalawa. So, paghati sa dalawa, paghati sa dalawa, meron dito, meron dito, and then, nakatulog sa Abraham, at maya-maya, may, may dumaan na smoking firepot, according sa, sa NIV, smoking firepot between dun sa mga patay na, na hayop. Nalaman ko nung gabi na yun, na ibig sabihin pala nun, nung unang panahon, ah, uh, pagka nagumagawa ng promise or ng covenant or ng contract yung mga tao, ganun ang ginagawa nila. Na yung mga makers ng contract na yun, sila yung dadaan. And ang symbolism is, if, if hindi mo tutuparin yung promise mo, um, you will end up like those, uh, those animals. So, tinanong sa akin ng video creator namin, sino daw yung, yung fire na yun? or ano daw yung fire na yun. E naalala ko yung story ni Moses, burning bush. Baka kasi God yun. <laughs> Isip-isip ko, ano. Pero inisip na, pumasok din sa isip ko na, teka, kung si God yun, tapos hindi niya tinupad yung promise niya, pamamatay siya. Hindi naman pwede yun, kasi eternal God share. At hindi rin niya pwede hindi to pad yung promise, kasi He's the way, the truth, and the life. He's the same yesterday, today, forevermore. So, yun, yun yung first meeting namin. But, although naalala ko yung first meeting namin kung anong mga ginawa namin, yung kinain namin, nakalimutan ko na. Pero yung topic, sayang. <laughs> Pero yung topic naalala ko. Pero hindi ko, yung naalala ko yung D-group leader namin as someone who loves me. I remember yung D-group namin nun as someone who accepted me and loved me as I am. Kasi ako din mismo nun, di ko, di ko matanggap sarili ko eh. Di ko rin mahal yung sarili ko eh. Ang tingin ko sarili ko nun, napakadumi. Napaka walang kwenta. But then, someone saw me as I am. Someone gave me love, unconditional love. Wala akong bibigay sa kanila, but they, they accepted me as I am. And loved me as I am. Ang naging effect nun sa akin, um, Naging, to, naging possible sa utak ko na mayroong isang God, all-powerful God, all-loving God, na magmamahal sa amin unconditionally. Kasi may taong nandun eh, nandun sa gitna namin, na kasi hindi palang mahalin ako ng tao na walang kapalit. And so, nung narealize ko yun, pwede di palang mahalin ng Panginoon na walang kapalit kasi mas, malaki, mas, mas malakas siya dito sa mga taong to eh. So yung idea na merong, merong Panginoon na ipapadala niya yung nag-iisa niyang anak para mamatay, para sa akin. Para dahil sa pagmamahal niya sa akin, pa, may, ma, may hirapan at 
tumatay na buhay ulit para sa akin. Naging totoo sa akin kasi mayroong at least isang tao na ang naging role niya is to love me. Okay. So, make your identity as a leader clear. Hindi tayo, hindi tayo patut, ma, matatandaan as someone na magaling magturo, as someone na magaling, siguro magaling magluto, pwede, or mayaman, pero the, the one thing that, that, that everyone will, will remember us for is yung love. Okay, ito nakita, nakuha ko yung ano, uh, pinulit to, pero dati nasa sa first session to, make your identity as a leader clear, confidentiality, of course, uh, wag mag-gossip, uh, wag natin tawagin fellowship ang gossip, huh? mag-fellowship kami, uh, okay, prayer request, uh, please, confidentiality, uh, may mga bagay na hindi dapat pinalalabas. And honesty, um, may mga na-encounter na ako ng mga members na, na hindi honest. Na, at nahuli ko, siyempre. <laughs> Alam kaya nalaman ko hindi honest, eh, nahuli ko eh. But by God's grace, nahuli ko. Na, so na-experience ko yung, yung naramdaman ni God sa Genesis 3. Nung, nung ayaw umamin ni Adam sa alib, nung nagkutroan pa. So, abang, kayo ba yun? <laughs> Secret! Okay, okay, okay. So, nahuli ko. Na, nahuli ko naman. Pero, siyempre, hindi ako masaya na nahuli ko kasi... <laughs> kasi yun eh, nahuli ko eh, na nagsisinungan sa akin. Uh, although hindi natin kontrolado yung mga members natin or yung mga disciples natin, ang kontrolado natin sa sarili natin. We can control our honesty to them, our openness to them. Sila, Kung magkisinungaling sila, problema na nila yun. Sigad na bala sa kanila. Yun ang sabi ko. <laughs> Sige, sigad na bala sa inyo. Yan na lang. So, next is respect. Ang, ang nilagay sa book 1 is as a session 1, attend meetings regularly and punctually. And by honoring authority. And then next is intercession. We pray for each other. We, we pray just uh, not just for the members, not just for for our D group members, D group mates, but also for the leader. Mm, spiritual growth. Okay. Spiritual growth. Ito yung isa sa mga, mga aims natin, spiritual growth. Na dapat, one year from now, magkaroon pa lang isang member, by next year, dapat hindi lang Ephesians 2.8 ang alam nun, hindi lang yan 3.16, dapat marami na. No? So, spiritual growth, Siyempre, hindi lang knowledge, but growth in, in, in application, in, in, uh, in obeying Christ. Dapat iba na sila. Mas magandang tao na, no? <laughs> hindi, hindi lalong sumama. And then, Timothy's. Um, okay. Uh, clarify ko to, kasi may mga tanong kanina. Yung Timothy's, uh, hindi ibig sabihin na na pagka na dito lang sa small groups nagkakaroon ng disciples. Meron akong mga disciples na wala sa D-group namin na nag-grow naman. Siguro dahil wala sila sa D-group namin kaya sila nag-grow. Pero anyway, <laughs> ibang, ibang story na yun. But hindi siya, ano, hindi siya limited sa small group. And be careful when using the word calling them disciples and calling yourself as a disciple. Kasi baka yung iisip mo, disciple mo sila, pero hindi ka na tinititas disciple. O di ba? Ang saklap nun. Pero... <laughs> feeling ko, may ganun. <laughs> o di ba? Huwag ka nang huwag tayo mag-a-assume, no? Kasi hindi ibig sabihin na kinakounsel mo sila, in-explain mo yung Bible, sinasamahan mo pagka, pagka may sakit o pag malungkot, hindi naman ibig sabihin nun na desider ka na nila. Baka lang mas makatag ka lang. Baka lang mas may experience ka sa ganun, ganun bagay. But hindi ka yung decipher nila. Now, kung ano man ang tingin nila sa inyo, problema nila yun. Ano yung isipin yun? Basta, yung kontrolado mo, you can aid in their spiritual growth, you can, you can aid in their uh, walk with God, yun ang kontrolado mo. Yun lang ang payo naman natin. Okay? Kasi kanya-kanya naman tayo ng responsibility. So, although, syempre, medyo masakit. 
Dia tahu pun disiple. Dia kata pun disiple. Okey lang yan. Hindi ka mauubusan ng pera diyan. Okay? Hindi. Iiyakan mo pero wala. Masasanay ka rin. Kasi kung may isang dumuha noon, tadami pa yan. <laughs> Masasanay ka rin. Okay, next. Dapat talaga masanay. Nurture close relationships. Okay. Sino nandito nung ano? Nung uh, baptism class? Uy, wala. Okay, good. <laughs> Pero hindi ko ito ginawa. Hindi, hindi ko ito ginawa nung, ano, nung baptism class. So, ganito. Meron akong isang teacher. Mag mag ting magaling siyang teacher. Uh, ang isa pang magaling sa kanya, nung pina pinapanood ko sa asawa ko yung video niya, nung nagtuturo siya, hindi inaantok ang asawa ko. So, kuminsyado talaga akong magaling ito. So, ganito siya magturo ng baptism. <laughs> okay. 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 So, merong, merong, merong white na nagdamit. White. Ito lang yung matino ko na white. <laughs> Tensya na. High na rin. So, ang mangyayari, so, ano, gusto mo lang ano, ng, ng, uh, ng red na nagdamit. Yung, yung lalagyan mo, lalagyan mo ng, ng red na ink. So, it, so, so, pag, pag lagyan mo dyan, uh, after it immerse, um, yung red na ink will go inside the, the white. The white glow. So, magkakaroon ka na ng... ng... Ano yan? Ang bilis, no? Tuyo na to! Okay, ganun siya nagturo. Isa sa mga antics niya. Tuyo na to! Tuyo na to! Hindi ahawa yan, hindi ahawa. Maging photo shirt pa! Okay. Gusto kong gawin yun ng baptism class eh. Kaya lang may limit sa jokes per session kasi. <laughs> so, ayun. Ganun siya magturo. Again, hindi ko siya natandaan dahil sa ganun siya magturo. Natandaan ko siya kasi pag absent ako, within one hour or two hours after the class, mag-i-email yun sa akin, Joy, how are you? You, you were not in my class. Uh, here, here is our, ano, our, our, uh, ano yun? Our lesson, yung, yung outline ng lesson, yung handouts, pati yung, yung PowerPoint niya, ibibigay niya. At naka-PowerPoint, hindi naka-PDF, no? So, pwede kong magamit sa <laughs> ibang paraan. Di ba? Kasi kami, PDF ni ibigay namin sa inyo, eh. Oh, pwede yung mga PowerPoint. <laughs> oh, so, ayun. Tapos, kahit walang class, kung isang nag-limit kami outside the class. Hindi ko naman siya binabayaran ng para gawin yun. Pag-pray niya ako, mag-a-advert siya sa akin. At tumiming naman, that was during a very dark uh, ano, uh, era ng life ko. So, again, although I remember the way he teaches, the way, the, his skill, his gift, pero if, if, if makasama ko siya, ayaw kong turuan niya ako. Mas gusto kong maging siya na gawin niyo dati na mag-pag-pag-pag-pag-pag niya ako o kakausapin niya kung kumusta na ako. So, again, it's not about making, it's not about na para matandaan tayo ng mga disciples natin. Pero kasi, pag alam ng disciples natin na mahal natin sila, mas madali natin silang ma-convince over a lot of things. And, Leading them with skill and integrity of heart will be a lot easier. But for me, no, it it was the first. You know, una ko na pansin love. And pagka tayo kasi pagka sa mga sa next church, CCF. Ah, yun yung mayroong building sa ano? Sa C5 ba yun? Yung bisita sa ulo. Some days pa lang sa una punta rin. Ah, yun yung malaking building. Wala. Sabi niya. Ayan yung ano, yung church ni Pastor Peter. 
So a lot of people, pag sila mong CCF, they will, they will know us dahil sa building, dahil sa pastors natin, but they don't know us for their love. And, and luckily, by God's grace, I na-expose ako sa mga tao ganun na, na I, I, be, I began to know them because of love. And I think that's a big, 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 big thing na responsibility na ibibigay ko ngayon. You have to love your, your disciples. Kahit unlovable sila. Kahit napagtutut- natututunan naman mag-love. <laughs> it's a choice. So nurture close relationship. Um, next is provide direction. Sino dito marunong pumunta ng men's toilet? Hindi, ma. Totoong tanong yun. Hindi to trick question. Sina, sina, sina. Sina, sina. Ayun. Kuya, paano pwede mong pa-explain sa amin para pumunta dun sa men's toilet? Uh, ah, lalabas ba ko ng pinto? Kaliwa, kaliwa, kaliwa. Bilang kanan. Bilang kanan? Okay. O oh, sige. Okay. Paano niyo po nalaman yung direction po? Ay, may napagtanungan din po. Napagtanungan din po. Pero na, narating mo na? Ah, maraming best. Maraming best. <laughs> okay. So, kung sige niyo, alam niyo yung direction doon. Kasi nakarating mo siya doon eh. Na-guess na, niyo ba? Alam niyang sabihin sa akin yung direction kasi napuntahan niya na on his own. So the same with, with, our, with, our, uh, with our disciples. Um, for me, no? yung mga tinuturo ko, yung mga binibigay kong lesson or yung mga advice na sasabi ko because nasasabi ko yun with, with, with full conviction and uh, di ako makakasigan ito yan. Di, di ganun. Uh, Si, uh, straight to the point na sigurado ako kasi napagdaanan ko alam ko yung direction so alamawa si si ano si, si si kuya si kuya uh, alam mo ba pumunta sa bahay namin mm-hmm. hindi hindi niya alam kasi hindi pa siya napunta sa bahay namin at wala din kaming bahay so talagang <laughs> ano, wala wala ka lang direction ng bibig wala kahit ako di pa ako napunta doon <laughs> so yun yun ang yun ang yun ang point ko I, merong ibang mga mga leaders na hopefully hindi naman sa si Chef na may may may, may bababasa ng papanood tapos uulitin lang nila sa mga disciples nila yung ganung klasing ipaparot mo lang yung mga narinig mo tapos pag ganun lang na hindi dumaan sa buhay mo hindi mo na apply sa sarili mo medyo hindi ka masusustain na matagal sa ganun kasi kailangan mo memorize yung <laughs> yung pinapanood mo. Kailangan mo memorize yung pinapakinggan mo. Pero hindi mo alam yung pasikot-sikot nung kasi hindi ka mismo napunta doon. So meron kami mga ibang mga mga members na nagkakaroon na ng mga small groups. Um, yung materials na gagamitin nila ang ang hindi naman requirement pero konti na lang. Ang pina, isa sa mga requirement is gawin mo muna sa sarili mo bago mo i-share sa kanila. Kasi gusto kong pagdaanan mo yon para kahit na balibalik ta rin pa yan, alam mo kasi nandun ka eh, napag, napagdaanan mo. So provide direction. Next, seek to bring out the best in each one. So ito, uh, uh, ang intindi ko dito is uh, ipupush mo yung mga tao. No? Kasi, ang baba, uh, ako, hindi ko alam kung hanggang saan yung kaya ko yun. Pero yung ibang tao na nakakita sa akin, katingin ko, alam nila. So, isa sa part ng pagiging leader ay ipupush natin sila beyond their comfort zone. Ipupush natin sila beyond dun sa limit na inakala nilang hindi nila kayang tawirin, no? So, may ginamit ako tatlong clips. Each one represents yung mga nagawa ko na. Although meron pang iba siguro, pero ito, nagawa ko na. Ganun tayo eh. Yung direction ko. Yung mga nagawa ko na. With, ba- with varying levels of success. So, paiba-iba to. Okay? So, pula tayo sa una. Uh, ito, nakawa ko na sa YouTube. Uh, from the movie Payton. Okay? Oh, naka... 
Tiene la antena, comienza a andar. Comienza a andar. Sí. Así que sí. Okay, believe it or not, uh, hindi naman ganun kasaka, kasaklap talaga yung ginawa ko, pero uh, may, may point kasi na kailangan mong maging, na kailangan mong maging firm talaga. Uh, na kailangan mong sabihin na yung ginagawa mo na yan, yung kalawang mo na yan, madadali ka dyan. <laughs> mahuhuli, mahuhuli ka ni Lord yan. Mag Mabuti na kalusot ka ngayon pero kumbaga may mga although hindi ko nang may meron may meron din na at nagawa na rin sa akin to and and what I appreciate about this kasi may maraming tao na na may may kanin ka nga sa mukha hindi nila papansin eh may tinga ka sa ano humingi ka na hindi nila sabihin sa inyo may tinga ka eh pero may mga ito, yung mga tao na gumawa sa akin ito o yung sabi na tigil mo yung kalawa mo o kaya um, sin yung ginagawa mo problema yung ganyan hindi pwedeng ginagawa mo yan I appreciate them kasi iilang tao lang yung yung mahal ka talaga para sabihin sa'yo na mali yung ginagawa mo sabihin na uy, <laughs> tigil mo yan uh, Iilan lang yung taong gagawa nun and, and they, they are risking our relationship na, na, na ma-hurt ako pero I appreciate it na they, 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 they tell the truth nothing but the truth <laughs> although masakit hindi naman ako ginano uh, pero yun uh, yun nga lang hindi mo pwedeng gawin lagi to kasi Maraming tao is uh, emotional, maraming tao sensitive. So instead na gagawin to, may, may iba pa namang mga way, no? Iba pang mga way, which is uh, ito, second, uh, second clip. Ito, mas madalas ko itong ginagawa. Kasi, yung ako, <laughs> parang mas madalas ko itong ginagawa kasi, yung ako, parang mas madali. Hmm. Tignan natin, ha? No, you're wrong, pal. You're wrong. You don't know nothing. You don't touch me. Take it easy. Look, I didn't do anything wrong. I know that. It's not like you're murdering anyone or anything. 
It's going to take the blood of Yeshua, Jesus, and your sweat to break through. You understand? Yes, sir. So I don't mind you crying. I cry a lot, too. You know what I'm saying? All right? So I want you just to, you're pulling your blow. I don't know if you're facing fear and you're feeling that you may not make it. And we all face that from time to time. And when we face it, we have resistance. We to stop, right? Because it's hurting for that I'm not going through this no more, right? Yeah. We have to pain. It's gonna be very painful. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Being a black man in this country, you're gonna need mental fortitude. You're gonna have to be strong here more so than here. Do you understand? Yes, sir. You can do it. You just gotta put your mind to it. And it's good to cry so you can work through that emotion. So when it arrives again, you can push it to the side. Do it. You understand? Yes, sir. You see what you got. Breathe, dig, pause, just as hard as you can. Always, you may not be able to break the habit or whatever the first time. Keep fighting, keep going through it. And that's what you're going. You understand? Yes, sir. type ng encouragement, yung pinaka mahirap, but I think it's very, very effective. And hindi nung siya basta-basta magagawa on any other times. Kasi dapat saktong-sakto ka dun sa, ano na yun? Sa, dun sa moment na kailangan mong magsalita ka, na kailangan mong mag-encourage. So, for me, 
Uh, uh, nagkaroon ako ng isang teaching nun na mahirap. Dito rin sa GLC. So, recent lang to. And then, inisip ko, huwag na lang kaya. Kaya lang, uh, sab sabi may nagsabi sa akin na uh, you're going to do just fine. Sabi niya, huh? Okay. Huh? 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 Sabi. Kasi <laughs> basic ko. Kaya lang, itong taon ko, may tiwala ulit sa taon ko eh. Ang problema, wala akong tiwala sa sarili ko. So, ang nangyari, itong taong may tiwala ako, sinasabi niya na, kaya ko daw. Oh my, siguro, siguro kaya ko. Siguro. Kaya si bisip ko lang. Eh kaya lang, yung taong na yun, si Dr. Keith. Makipagtalo ba naman ako kay Dr. Keith, di ba? Sino dito ready makipag- Debate kay Dr. Gay. Hindi, hindi, hindi ko kaya. <laughs> What did you say? I can do it? Of course not. <laughs> diba? Alam nga may pagtalo kayo sa kanya, di ba? So, okay. So, na-encourage naman ako. Pero, after a few days, medyo, medyo ano, medyo hindi, hindi pa rin okay. Um, ano na yun, mag-start na tayo nun eh. 7.20 kasi, nag-CR ako. Pagbalik ko na 7.30, mag-an yung feeling ko. <laughs> Nung palabas ko ng pinto, nakita ko yung kasama ni Dr. Gay. Si Dr. Jeanette. Kasi nung palabas ako, papasok siya. Kaya hindi talaga hindi ako pang makaiwas. Sabi niya, oh, I, I heard you're, you're going to teach tonight. Again, um, can I pray for you? So, dinala niya ako sa likod. Pinag-pray niya ako. So, actually, kinabahan niya ako eh. Kasi si, si Dr. Jeanette, mas konti alam na Tagalog words nun eh. Eh, mahilig ako sa Tagalog. So, patay sa akin. Ang daming English. Hindi, hindi ganun ka daming English ang bawang mo ngayon. Pero yun, dinan niya ako sa likod, pinag-pray niya ako. Tapos paglaan niya mag-pray. You're going to do, to do just fine. So, you know. And so, during that time, okay, siguro naman, I'm going to do just fine then. And so, at, isipin ninyo yung, yung, yung grace ni God. Kasi itong mga, itong mga, itong mga situation na to, hindi natin basta-basta makikreate to. Hindi natin basta-basta Uh, magagawa ng encouragement to it. Isipin nyo kung pati yung mga bus, bus stop na dinaanan ni Dr. Jeanette, pati yung mga MRT stops, pati yung mga red light na, na, na tatawarin niya, in-orchestrate ni God para at the exact time na palabas ako, papasok na siya. And so, still, we have to realize God's grace in in encouraging our our members na hindi natin sila um, bobulahin hindi natin sila basa-basa ikaflatter but it has to it has to come from from a heart of integrity of truth and of of course skill no, kung, kung hindi talaga marunong kumanta please ano ano sabi mo hindi ka marunong kumanta <laughs> kung, kung walang skill mag uh, magturo sabihin yung walang skill magturo So, may, ayun, um, ito yung pinaka, yun, yun, yung pinaka mahirap, pero when, pagka na nagkaroon tayo ng opportunity na gano'n, kunin nyo na, no? kasi sa dami-dami ng engine ni God, ikaw nilagay sa position na yun para, para mag-encourage, just like yung, yung kanina. Be prepared to defend against the enemy. Okay. So while you're leading, magkakaroon ka ng maraming spiritual warfare. Magkakaroon ka ng maraming problema. Um, 100%. Lahat ng mga nagkakaroon ng, ng, ng mas, mara, mas malawak na influence, mas malawak na ministry um, responsibilities, biglang lalawak din ang, ang atak ng enemy. Mas magiging matindi, mas magiging fierce, mas magiging intense. And so we have to be prepared, we have to be prepared to defend against the enemy, not just ourselves, but also yung mga disciples natin. Meron akong isang kilala na yung timing niya na, na magkakasakit, yung timing niya na, na magkakaroon ng something sa world, ang kami di group. Tapos, pati pagka may yung church. Eh, paulit-ulit. Paulit-ulit, paulit-ulit. Tingin ko, eh, may ano to, may, may, 
may problema ka, nisip ko. Kasi hindi, hindi naman, bilhin mo, apat na araw, limang araw sa isang linggo, ay, pitong araw. Doon ka pa sa dalawang araw na yun wawala, di ba? May, may problema, may problema. So, 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 just a prayer ko, Lord, na, uh, sige, nandito ako sa position na to. Uh, James 4.7, Submitting myself to you, and uh, I will do what I can to to resist the devil. Sabi ko, uh, so sinet, eksento ko ng Bible verse niya, Ephesians 6:12. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Ang nisa ko, kung may demonyo man na nagbabasa nabab- ng cellphone niya, mababasa niya at alam niyang I'm praying for this person. Um, I'm not afraid na sa akin siya pumunta. At di ko alam kung, kung coincidental. Pero the next big group meeting ng taong yun, umaten. Tapos, the next service, umaten din. So, mas maraming beses na siyang umaten. Mas maraming. So, ayun. Um, so, be ready, no? Hindi lang sa, sa life niyo. At sa life din ng iba. Um, and what, huwag kayong, huwag pala kayong maratawag. No? Yung mga ganong klaseng, ano? Mga ganong klaseng uh, warfare. No? Kasi, we come from victory. Eh. Yung God natin is uh, Almighty God. So, we come from victory. Sila lang yun ang bubulo. So, yun ang, yun ang authority natin. We, we have authority there. So, we are on the offensive. Sila yung... Uh, <laughs> uh, next is reach out. Okay. Itong reach out naman, may nangyari din sa akin nito, nitong ano lang, nitong ulit rin. Uh, late kaming pumunta, yung panggabi. So, meron ako nakitang isang, ano, isang bagong mukha. Kita mo kagali kasi matangkat siya. Tapos may mga kumakulap sa kanyang iba member. So, okay, sige. May mga kumakulap eh. Uh, siguro na, Christian eh, kaya kumakulap. Tapos noon, may mako. Basta basta siya kinuha sa. Eh ngayon pagdating din sa bus, maraming bakante. Ang nagkataon noon, nakaupo ako, dalawahan yung bus, yung ano yung puwan, nakaupo ako dito. Kina doon ko yung bus ko, hopefully may may tatabi pero wala talaga tumatabi sa akin sa bus. Tapos siya nung sa kabila. Pero may katabi siya. Nag-uusap sila nung una, pero bandang huli, hindi na nag-uusap. Ano na, awkward silence na siguro. So ang nagkakaroon ako ng burden na kausapin. Eh, nagpe-prepare na ako para sa teaching natin ngayon. Sabi ko, hindi hey, nagpe-prepare na lang ako, Lord. Dabi na ako yung matututo dun eh. Parang <laughs> yun ang justify ko na, ano ang kausapin na dito na mo. Don't talk to strangers nga, di ba? So, talagang yung utak ko talaga, ayoko, ayoko. Bukod sa tinatamad, ayoko talaga, pagod ako. Kaya nga lang, nanalo yung, ano, yung prompting na yan. Nalaman laban ko, sa breakup group ko pala siya kasama. <laughs> so, kung inisnab ko siya dun sa ilang oras yun, parang umalis kami dito, alas 7, nakarating kami dun, alas 1 na. Kung inisnab ko siya ng apat na oras, tapos nalaman niya na ako yung breakup group leader niya. <laughs> Ang saklap mo. <laughs> Isnab yun sa personal yung, yung breakup group leader niya. So, ayun. Reach out. <laughs> uh, you don't know yung opportunity na meron, meron ka doon. Although, some people will take more time than others. Yeah. Yung nga lang. Kung yung, yung five minutes na spend ko sa'yo maging effective, baka sa iba, dalawang oras para magkaroon ng, ng same effect. So, be aware doon. Iba-ibang tao, iba-ibang, iba-ibang, iba-ibang pinagdadaanan, iba-ibang effect sa kanila. Okay, next. Caring, not controlling. Um, ito, yung mga magiging disciples niya. They they are not your disciples. They are they are God's people. They are God's children. And so, pagingat pagingat na natin sila mabuti kasi hindi hindi sila sa atin. <laughs> Naasayin lang tayo. Next is honor in humility. Okay. Kasi na naman ang kwento na naman. Merong nung, nung unang, uh, nung mga sinakunang panahon, nung mga monarchy days pa, siyempre yung, yung mga government, ano, officials na, no? Ano pa? Uh, Magagaray yung mga damit, no? Uh, talagang bongga-bongga. So, mayroong isang sikat na natigagawa ng 
ng damit. So, meron isang lalaki, bagong official na siya, pumunta siya sa mga gagawa ng damit. Kasi iksipat nga siya doon sa mga tao eh. Sa mga government official, magaling siyang magawa ng damit. So, after kukunin yung mga measurements ng katawan niya, ano sa tanong niya? Um, ga, Gano'n ka na, baba si Christian, kung nari siya yung, yung bagong government official, ga, gano'n ka nakatanggal na government official? Uh, anong importance nun? Eh, nagpapasukat na ako ng damit, sabi, sabi niya. Hindi, na, na, malaking importance siya. Kasi, yung mga bagong government official daw kasi, pag, uh, pag uh, suot yung mga damit, pag nasa public, Talagang ano? Ito? Chest out? Talagang ano? Talagang nakatingala pa daw. So may adjustment siyang ginagawa. Mas mahaba yung damit dito sa harapan. Kaya sa likod. Tama nga naman. So after a few years na, na government official ka, medyo alam mo na kung gaano kahirap yung pinagdaanan mo na nangailangan ka na bigla ng God's grace. Medyo straight ka na. Tuwid na yung ano, yung yung pangangatawa mo. Pantay na yung harap sa kaligod. So, takabasan niyo yung ano, yung harapan. Ngayon, habang tumagal talaga sa pagod, sa katandaan, at malalaman mong hindi ka talaga enough para dun sa position na yun. Nagiging humble na yung tao. Na, nakayo na. So, Yeah, sa likod naman yung... Yung pinapa kasi yung sa harapan naman. Kasi eh, lagi naman ganun. Hindi na magpapag na yun, di ba? So, humility, no? Nung the night, bagong mapamatay si Jesus, yung position niya nakaload, eh. Na, Nakatong naguhugas ng mga paa. Mas mahaba yung suit niya sa likod ng doon-doon siya, di ba? So, humility. Uh, sana... Putulan natin yung ano, yung harapan. <laughs> Next service is a privilege. Hindi to corporate ladder sa kingdom ni God. Hindi to corporate ladder sa CCF. Pero ano to, isipin nyo slide to, slide, top back. Uh, the, the lower the better. Huwag nyo, uh, saan huwag natin gawin yung ano to. Uh, Stepping stone, <laughs> stepping stone daw. It's a privilege na, na, na we get to work with our Savior in other people's life. Okay, next. Developing the mind of a steward, make the most of your time together. Okay, do, wag yung, syempre, do not waste your disciples' time. And also, be sensitive din pag sila naman yung nag ng time mo. Kasi 24 hours lang tayo pare-pareho. So kung meron kang limang member, yung isa doon, renovation time mo, kailangan mo rin patek tayo sa rito, para doon sa apat. Or para sa family mo. Para sa akin, uh, baka sa akin, Monday to Friday. Sige, Monday to Friday. Monday. Teka, ito na lang. Mga ba kong kukuhin. Monday to Friday, Monday to Friday, Friday. Okay. Friday, wala na yun. T-group eh. Wednesday, wala rin. Nandito ako eh. Hirap <laughs> pala. Okay. So, eh may yung asawa ko. Kailangan ko ng time sa kanya. Nanghihingi ng time. May date night kami. Dalawa na lang. Dalawang araw na lang. So, pag itong dalawang araw na to, kailangan ko ispend ng maayos to kasi may anak pa ako. <laughs> so, kung, kung Wednesday to Friday, lagi yung wala, di na kami nakita. So, kailangan mo ispend ako sa inyo isang araw. Isa na lang. So, isang araw na yun, kung may mag kung may pagkita sa akin na, na D-group member, very special yun, not just for me, but also for my family, and also dun sa ibang members. So, be sensitive doon. Kasi, hindi to tulad ng, ng pera, no? Pag ako nabusan ng pera, manghihingi lang ako sa asawa ko, eh. <laughs> may darating. Pag nabusan ako ng pagkain, mahunguha lang ako ng pagkain ng housemates ko. <laughs> Ang dami dun, eh. <laughs> Pero pag yung time yung nawala, <laughs> madami doon. <laughs> Pero pag yung time yung nawala, ay problema yun. Kasi hindi ko na may babalik yun. Saan ako walang time? Lahat ay 24 hours, hindi naman na dapat na gano'n. So we have to, to be uh, sensitive din sa time ng 
disciples and disciples. Next, make the most of people's talent. Okay, um, yung iba tao hindi sila nagbublong kagad to be disciples, to be ready to, to disciple others. Pero, please pray na, na you will be sensitive na pag ready na sila and uh, na makita nyo yung talents and potential nila and pag pray din lang sila maging useful. Um, yung ako, iba, yung, yung ano kasi, yung, yung way of thinking ko, hindi ako nag, madalas, hindi ako nag-pray ng opportunity. Kung may opportunity, kinukuha ko agad. So yun ang, yun ang tinatry kong ibigay sa iba na may opportunity, eh kunin mo na. Saka ka na mag-pray kung para sa'yo talaga yan. <laughs> kasi kinuha mo eh. Eh kasi kung hindi, kung hindi mo nakuha, eh hindi talaga para sa yan. So, yun ganun. Uh, so, we, ha we have to look for opportunities din na para matest natin yung, yung mga, mga members natin. Which is, madalas yung ginagawa, na tinatest ko yung mga sila. At di nila alam yun. <laughs> Binigrade na pala dyan. <laughs> Then, um, next, threshold, treasure people for who they are. Yung value natin, as a person, hindi yan dinidictate ng salary natin, hindi yan dinidictate ng kung ano yung, yung, yung title natin sa work, hindi yan dinidictate ng kung ilan yung disciples natin, or kung sino naging disciples sa atin. Yung value natin as a person, makukuha natin kay God. Dahil siya, ang nakita niyang value sa atin, we are valuable enough na mamamatay siya para sa atin. We are that valuable enough na He will uh, He will place us um, at the heavenly realms. Um, and He will call us children. So we have to see people, treasure people as they really are. Which is, magiging output din to nung walk natin kay God. Kasi kung di tayo nag-walk kay God, di natin may kita yung mga tao as yun nga, kung ano yung talaga sila. Okay. Last three slides. Um, ito, dinagdag ko to. Last three slides, dinagdag ko. First is yung follow God. He said to them, ito yung first time na magkita si uh, nung, yung, nung nagtawag na si Jesus ng kanyang disciples. He said to them, follow me and I will make you features of men. So, baka sabihin niya sa akin, uh, Joy, uh, sinabi ang kay Peter. Hindi sa JHC students. Okay, sige. Sinabi ko kay Peter. Pero choice niyo to kung susuntin niyo. Okay? <laughs> Follow me and I will make you features of men. Pansinin niyo mabuti, yung responsibility natin nandun, are we going to follow or are we not going to follow? And I will make you features of men. May promise tayo na pwedeng hintayin kay God. He will make us features of men. Ang kailangan natin gawin is to follow. Siya yung gagawa ng, ng opportunity. Siya yung magpo-promote sa atin. But we have to follow. Next, after following God, then nagpa-follow na tayo. Mas nakikilala natin siya. Then, the next step, is to love God. Deuteronomy 6.5 Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. At edinugtong ko siya sa Matthew 22. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. So, tandaan niyo itong klaseng love na ito. Kasi ito yung sinasabi ni God na gagawin natin. Follow God. Love God. Itong love na to, with all, all, no? all heart, soul, strength, pag wala na tayong strength, mind. <laughs> so wala na matitira para sa atin. But we have to love God with all. Kasi iba, although Christian na, we love ourselves more. We love our positions more. We love anything. Anything other than God. And then, last slide. Please remember this, uh, itong, itong love na ito. John 21. Um, ganito gawin natin. Babasahin ko yung mga red. 
yung red na na font and then babasahin niyo yung orange orange daw yung sabi ng sabi ng color okay 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 ah okay. yung okay. black okay. black ignore natin yung black okay basta yung red akin yung hindi black inyo okay okay hindi red akin red tama red Simon son of John do you love me more than this Yes, Lord. You know that I love you. Feed my lambs. Simon, son of John, do you love me? Yes, Lord. You know that I love you. Take care of my sheep. The third time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Do you love me? Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Feed my sheep. Okay. Tatlong beses tinanong ni, ni Jesus si, uh, si Peter. Pero ganito kasi yan eh. Yung unang beses sa, sa, sa verse 15. Ito, may, nagkaroon ng dalawang meaning yung love dito sa usapan na to. Sa so verse 15, ito, ang, ito yung meaning ng sinasabi ni God. Simon, son of John. Do you love me with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind? At ang sinagot ni John, I mean, ni Peter, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you as a brother. Ang ginamit na word ni God para sa love is agapao. Ang ginamit ni, ni Peter, phileo. Ito yung tinatanong ni God, Ito yung sinagot ni Peter. Ta- Subukan niyo gawin yan sa asawa niyo. Pag tinanong niya kung, kung love niya kayo, kung love niyo sila, bin niyo, crush kita. Mab- <laughs> Sigurado, next GLC MC ka. No? So imagine, ito... <laughs> uh, accept, accept naman namin yun. Uh, <laughs> physically disabled. Okay. So back tayo dito. Do you love me with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind? Ang sagot ni Peter, Lord, I love you as a brother. Okay, next verse. Simon, son of John, do you love me with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind? Yes, Lord. You know that I love you as a brother. I am fond of you. Sakalap nun, di ba? Take care of my sheep. And the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me as a brother? So, binabanan ni Lord yun. Yung question. Totoo bang ganun lang ba? Ganun lang ba? Peter was hurt because Jesus cast him the third time. Do you love me? Lord, you know all things. I love you as a brother. Feed my sheep. And so, um, so kung ano eh, so kung ilagay mo yung sarili mo dun sa position ni Peter and honestly answer yung question ni God, do you love me with all your heart with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind. Every day, itanong niya yan sa sarili niya. Do you? And imagine na yung situation ni Peter na magkaharap sa rin ni Jesus, do you love me with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind? Walang, walang sermon, walang, walang, walang pananakot ng lake of fire. Feed my lambs, take care of my sheep, and feed my sheep. So in 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 our journey as leaders, ito lang yung ano eh, ito yung control control natin, yung nasa side natin. Now we, kumisan it gets very hard. Pansin niyo yung yung kanina yung yung magama na kasi painful. Madalas kasi sabi it's painful at talagang mabigat, no? Nagangawit na sila. But 
of all the things that will keep you going is your love for God and then His love for you. Okay, so it all revolves on, revolves on love. So always ask yourself of oh, this. You, know, you imagine yourself as Peter, the, uh, Jesus asking you, do you love me? And so, magkakaroon tayo ng uh, group group breakout group okay um ito ang question natin okay which area do you think you would have the most difficulty as a small group leader or center which area kahit isa lang okay and then next number two what can help you overcome such difficulty? So identify natin, then isipin natin paano natin mare-resolve. Okay? Pwedeng sagutin to ng mga kagroup ninyo. What will you do to train to have the hands of a servant? So, meron ta- alam natin yung problem, mag-de-device tayo yung solution, gagawa tayo yung steps toward that solution and ma- ma-alleviate yung problem na yun. Ngayon, ano yung ito, after a few slides, wait ha? Uh, uh, play from this part. Okay. Uh, after around 30 seconds, mag- iigot-igot lang to, yung next na makikita nyo is ito. Ito na yung mga pagpipilihan ninyo. Although hindi naman limited dito kasi one hour lang tayo nag- nag-usap. Hindi natin ma- mapapover itong lahat ng ng discipleship topics in one hour. Integrity pa lang, baka 8 hours na yun eh. Yung skillful hands, baka 15 hours na yun agad. So ito, ito yung outline natin. Identity clear, nurturing close relationship, providing direction, seeking out the, 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 to bring out the best in everyone, defending, oops, sorry, reaching out, controlling, you, problem with humility, problem with looking at service as a privilege, time management, making the most out of people's talent. So, pili na lang kayo. And of course, yung, yung last na inad ko, kung may problem kayo with following God, or loving God, or yung command sa John 21, which is feeding sheep, feeding lambs. So, Okay? Um, magkakaroon tayo ng i-share natin bawat isa. So, it's 8.59. Sorry. Um, we'll uh, by 9.20. Resume tayo by 9.20. 9.20, then we'll, we'll share. Yes. Okay. Then, well, we will have a break. Then, mm-hmm. then uh, punta na kayo kagad sa mga group, group meets nyo to answer the questions. Then, Pag-discussion at 9.20. Pag-discussion, 8.30 darating. So, pero, set our eyes on Jesus. Yun yung kontrolado natin. Okay? Wala talagang ano. Ito pa pala. Hindi tayo magiging enough para sa situation. Kasi, without faith, it is impossible to please God. So, pagka enough ka na, pagka sobra-sobra ka na para sa situation mo, Kaya naman mo practice yung faith mo? Eh kasi alam mo na yung mangyari. Ready ka na para sa mangyari. Kaya naman ka mag-apron ng faith. So, ay, sa tingin ko, hindi na talaga na game prepared. Kahit kailan. Kaya ako, simula nung nag-start ako, di ako prepared. Hanggang po, hindi pa rin ako prepared. Hindi lang nila nakapansin. Pero, <laughs> hindi pa rin ako enough. Okay? Yun lang, natatago ko lang. <laughs> okay. Next. You know, you know, you know, you know, Ang difficulty niya is, 
Hirap siyang mag, mag-pray. So, siguro may hindi siya pasanay. Parang gano'n. And, hirap siya mag, parang kulang yung boldness na to reach out others. So, that's another difficult thing. Pero may no-workout na, may workout sila nung group nila. Na, para ma- ma-practice niya yung praying, nagpa-pray sila at 30 So, yung ones, nagpa-pray for lunch, then yung isang nagpa-pray for, for dinner. So, ganun, ganun yung winner, yung record niya. Then, yung dalawa is, difficulty is yung providing directions. Because, hindi, parang hindi pa sila, uh, hindi nila na-encounter yung, yung mga, Again, so it's hard for them to provide directions. Uh, it's hard for them to provide directions. And be prepared to to defend. Be prepared to defend against the enemy. So yeah. So is but. They're working out to uh, reading and yung sa testimony ng others. So, ng ibang mga other, other Christians. So, yun yung ginag- ginagawa nila. Uh, ginagawa nila ng work out to take it out. Then, uh, dun sa last question, which is yung hands of the circle. Uh, ang ang napag-vision na namin lahat is yun to attend class like this, JLC, then to learn from other uh, mature Christians kung ano yung mga na-encounter and i-apply yun sa sa mga personal lives na Okay, thank you. Okay, yung hirap mag-pray. Mahirap talaga mag-pray. Tuloy mo, let us pray. Lahat sila nakapikit lang. Tapos ikaw, magkasalita ka. O, di ba? Nakatapat pa yung kaitan. O, paano yun? Yung, ako din, may nahilapan din ako mag-pray. Hindi nyo lang naalata. O ba na kanaltaan nyo, hindi nyo lang sinasabi. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, uh, maraming, maraming promises si God sa tapon. So, uh, abang nagbabasa ka, malalaman mo yung mga pwede mong pag-pray. Eh. Nasiguradong kasagutin niya. Kasi promise niya. Eh. Ano ba ba? Go and make disciples of all nations. Baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And lo, I am with you always. And so may, may prayer item ko na doon. Now when you're making disciples as a group leader, Lord, be with me. Alam mo, kasama mo siya. Kasi you're making disciples. So alam mo na yung pray mo. At sigurado mo masasagot yun. Kasi hindi naman ikaw nag-promise doon. No? Sigang nag-promise yun. Diba? And then, Diba ko, oh, yung isa pa, not really, para sa akin, medyo, medyo, ano to, medyo, medyo, uh, uh, shaky ground, yung mga ikinig ka sa prayers ng iba. So, pinapanggilan ko, mga prayers ng mga pinag-aktiwa lang ko. Or, halimbawa, nanunod kayo ng service. Sigurado, simula at dulo nun, may prayer. Papakinggan nyo, list na nyo. <laughs> so, mga pag- kasi it's na gusto mo mag-pray pero hindi mo alam ang sasabihin mo. And may iba talaga ng tao na magaling mag-express, may iba. Siyempre, siyempre kasa. Siyempre, number one din yung Holy Spirit. Pero hindi mo nang masasabi yung mga words na hindi mo alam. So, yun, we read, we listen. And uh, hindi tayo, ma- ma- hindi kahit yung sila Dr. Keith, yun, hindi naman sila na nagising ng ganun kagaling. <laughs> they had to to go through this na uh, feeling it inadequate, feeling uncertain. So, it's okay. Uh, minsan yun ang pagdadaanan niya. Which is one life. <laughs> Dito lang sa life niya. Pero, pagdating natin sa heaven, di na. Boldness to reach out. Again, yung tingin ko, ano din to, dun sa walk with, with God. Na you we will see them as they really are. Okay, next. 
Ang hirap ba kasi may trabaho na si Joey. <laughs> Which are the area do you think you would most difficult? Yung sa amin na pag-usapan namin, mostly yung struggles, yung ano, yung encouraging, yung ano lang, ano lang tawag ko doon, yung pag-encourage sa tao, di ba? Bali, building up yung ano, encouragement. Kasi yung ibang, mayroon kaming kasama sa group na may nung una na ini-encourage siya hanggang sa nakokontrol na siya. Kaya be, dapat maging very aware tayo dun. Kasi minsan ini-encourage siya, kaya mo yan, kaya mo yan, gano'n. Pero napupush na ng, so, ng sobra hanggang sa nakokontrol na siya. So, nagano'n siya ng, ano, ng phobia na ayaw niya rin maging gano'n. Kasi nakita niya kung paano yung naging struggle ng group nila dun sa tao na yun. So, parang nagano'n siya na, na, na hindi niya natuloy alam kung paano i-encourage or mag-aano ng tao na hindi na ko-control. Na hindi nila iniisip na kinokontrol na sila. O nasa sobra na yung pag-being courage. Tapos meron naman na hindi nakasama doon is yung struggles niya ay yung ano, yung siguro hindi siya masyadong nagpuput ng time, more effort doon sa group. Mas gusto niya yung group niya sa outside world. <laughs> Not because gusto niyang maging ganon, kung hindi, ano, um, may desire din siya kasi na ano na naiwin yung mga soul na yon na napapabayaan niya na yung talagang group niya. So, tapos so ano yung uh, help para ma ma-overcome yon is ayun uh, na nga, yun na nga na maging ano tayo, maging siguro yung careful for encouraging and controlling people. At pangalawa, yung maging ano tayo, yung Naging open siguro sa sa group natin kung ano yung mga struggle natin sa isa't isa para ma-pray at uh, seeking more sa Panginoon kung ano ba talaga yung will niya para sa atin. Tapos yung sa what will you do to train to have a hands of a servant? Ano ba yung Siguro yun nga, yung katulad dito yung pag-aaten ng di group at uh, siguro may isa pa ako dun sa number one. Siguro yung isa din sa naging na na struggle nung sa group yung um, yung yung paano ka kasi mismo ang kakalaban mo yung sarili mo na parang hindi mo alam kung paano mo yung meron kang fear of leading kasi parang hindi ka laging 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 nasa isip mo na hindi ka capable kasi nga yung mga tinuturuan mo is mga lawyers yung ka-group mo, mga teacher, so sila yung mga, mga label, yung mga position nila, which is natutunan natin na tinawag ng Panginoon, hindi yung mga, mga professional, <laughs> di ba? So, kahit sino pwedeng maging leader. Isa, you, do, you should have to be confident, kasi dapat alam mo kung ano yung tinuturo mo. Dapat alam mo kung sino yung pinaglilingkuran mo, kung sino yung Diyos na kilala mo. Kasi kung ikaw mismo hindi mo siya kilala, paano mo siya maituturo sa iba? So, kailangan, para ma-overcome mo yung fear na yun, is to learn more about Him. Kaya nga na, na napakalaking, napakagandang uh, tinuro sa atin is, uh, ganun ba ka mahal ang Panginoon? Kasi, pwedeng mahal mo siya, sinasabi mo siya, pero head knowledge lang, hindi talaga sa puso. So, so naging magandang awakening din sa akin yun. Kasi nga, kahit na matagal ka ng Christian, ganun mo ba siya ka, uh, kamahal? at gaano mo siya inuuna sa buhay niya. Yeah. Yan. Lang. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, update ko lang kayo. 9.45 lang, sinyo ang muwi. Okay lang, pero I reserve this night for every one of you. I-meet ko yung <laughs> ito yung mga, yung mga try kong i- ano yan? Karap yan mga to. So, when, dun sa pag-delete ng D-group or sa discipline, iba-ibang tao, 
iba-iba yung maturity. So, yung sinasabi mga kanina dun sa encouragement, ngayon ko lang na-encounter yun, yung sobrang, sobrang encouraged to, to the point na, na, na nakaka, ano na, nakakalinis. Pero... <laughs> siguro, baka naman dapat sabihin nyo, tumigil ka nga dyan. Baka pwedeng gano'n yun na. E, ewan ko ah, uh, hindi ko pa na-encounter yun. Ha? Huh? ML-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L
warning lang. <laughs> Ang baka gawin ni God, kung matigas ang ulo mo, ilalagay ka niya sa situation na wala kang magagawa kundi i-follow siya. And when that time comes, mahirap yung situation na yun. And so, nang, nang, nang galing na ako sa ganun, so pag naalala ko, nagpipray ako, oh Lord, huwag mo na ako padaas sa ganun, ayoko na, magiging faithful na ako. Kung baga, laman talaga yun ang prayer ko kasi ayaw kong pagdaanan yun. Kasi doon ka matetest na are you going to hold on to God? Are you going to hold on to your faith? So, while there's a choice, while you still can, you just follow. Uh, mas mahirap yun. Yun yung mga times na na naghahanap tayo ng counselor, ng pastor, yung mga times na wala kang ibang choice kundi hintayin si God, wala kang ibang choice kundi i-follow si God. Okay? Next. 9.51. Mabilis. Well, let's go. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Sila na kasi. Ah, sige. Tara po. Please. Okay, pila na, pila na. Singapore, um, work talaga yung priority natin lagi, di ba? Saka, yun, family. So, yun yung talagang pinaka-struggle ng group namin. And then, uh, direction, um, yun nga, yung parang natatakot dahil parang bago lang sila na Christian, or um, maraming mas mature sa kanila, or pag nagbigay ba sila ng direction, galing ba yun sa Bible, or di ba, yung parang lahat ng e-groups din, parang easy ko na, yung sinabi mo kanina, Joe, na sinabi mo na um, discipler ka, tapos disciple sila. Yung pala, hindi pala yun yung tingin nila sa'yo, hindi ka pala discipler. Okay? And then, um, yung reach, reaching out, reaching out dun sa mga d-group members, yung isa rin yun. Um, tapos, ano ba? Um, o, yun lang. <laughs> Number two, what can help you to overcome such difficulty? Uh, for us, siguro yung um, quiet time. Mm -hmm. So, tapos um, at the same time, yung um, may nagsabi na, kasi time eh, so more on journal. Magkaroon ng journal, tapos management ng time nila. You know. And then, uh, prayer. Yung siguro yung number one, prayer. Then number three, what will you do to train to have the hands of the servant? Siguro, uh, basically, um, parang as a group, if you want to be the, uh, to train to have the hands of the servant, siguro, dapat, ang number one, um, ano natin, uh, nasa mind natin is, um, service is a privilege. Yun. So, yun yung number one. Then, um, siguro, may, may nagsabi rin sa amin na be sensitive to sa mga members ng mga D-group sa mga feelings nila. You know, we have to be sensitive. Then, um, we have to we have to think na we serve God. We don't serve people. We serve God. So, pag, pag inisip natin, sa so mind natin na we're doing these things because uh, we're serving God, we're leaving this group to serve God, it will follow everything. You know, you know. And then, of course, for you to be a leader, you have to equip yourself. Sa lahat naman ng bagay, we have to equip ourselves. Hindi lang yung upo ka lang doon, di ba?
Uh, actually, na-share na nila lahat. So, <laughs> na thank you. Um, so, sa first question is, which area do you think you would have the most difficulty as a small group leader or discipler? So, uh, first is uh, yung commitment and time. Uh, kasi, once we are uh, a group, uh, the group leader, we should really 100% uh, you know uh, to do the to have this uh, uh, role na we know that we can uh, be a role model to the to the group and time sempre um of course we can we need to prioritize uh, yung yung group natin kasi we are uh, we are uh, used by God to share your mga words to us. Uh, second is, what can you overcome such difficulty? Uh, Wait a minute. There are no points. That's it. Maybe number two is the uh, uh, time. Ka. Uh, so, uh, for number two, I think we managed to uh, uh, solution is to assign someone who can help you in the D, D group. Uh, pwede mag-assign ng assistant uh, D group leader. So in case na may wala ka or you have some appointments, at least there is someone who will do uh, take over temporarily. And you know, at least na parang uh, hindi nandu pa rin yung uh, yung services nyo or fellowship in the group at hindi siya mawala or magbibis lang sa yo so dapat nandun palagi yung ano yung purpose ng B group uh, number three uh, what will you do to train to have the hands of a servant so number three is uh, first is you need to pray consistently yun sa sa'yo sarili mo at sa big group mo. Then, second is, you, you need to embrace your role as a big group leader. So, hindi pwedeng baka or ano, you need to fully accept your your role. And, one more thing is, nagusto ko yung uh, yung yung isang slide <laughs> is actually you uh, follow God, love God. Actually, for me, it should be love God. If you love God, you need to follow God. And following God, one of the instructions na sa atin, like uh, mga commandment, like He asks us to make disciples. We need to follow that one because that's how we show how we love God. In them. Time. Um, that time, 24 hours in a day. Kung kulang kayo sa time, baka may kailangan kayo tanggalin sa 24 hours nyo. Kung, kung wala kayong oras, kung, pero kung malusog naman kayo, pero natutulog kayo ng 12 hours a day, baka pwede yung gawing 11 hours. <laughs> Di ba? Um, okay. Yung hindi ko naisama dito, yung decision making. Uh, kung minsan, as a leader, you, as a leader, you have to make decisions na hindi mo gusto ng lahat ng tao. So, and, merong time, time ano eh, may time limit yun eh. Pag, pag nalagpasan mo yung time limit na yun, para mag, pag mag-decide ka, hindi na decision making yun. Ano na yun? indecisiveness na yun kasi na, na, nawala na yung time eh. So, yun ba, ba mag-lunch kayo. Mag-iisip kayo kung saan kayo pupunta. Eh, nakaisip ka, 5 o'clock na. So, tapos na yung, yung window of time mo to decide. So, there, the, the, kumbaga, magkakaroon talaga ng time na matetest yung decision making natin. And, malamang, hindi gusto yun ng lahat kasi maraming tao. And then next, yung continuity. Uh, I think it's good na, na Ako, may continuity plan naman ako sa group namin na pagbigla ako namatay or ma, ma, 
ma-disqualify ma ma ako, may mga, merong, merong susunod. So, I think, kasi kahit naman sa anong business, may continuity plan. Success na. Ano ba, ano ba? Sabi ko patay naman agad, hindi ko pwede magkasakit muna. Patay na. Patay na. Patay na. Patay na. O, sakit daw muna. Papahirap pa mo pa ako, ate. Mahong hospital pa ako. So, yun. Anyway, so tapos na lahat ng groups, no? Ngayon, bakit natin ginagawa ito? Okay, conclusion. Okay, maraming maraming tao na capable, maraming tao na na gifted, maraming tao na 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 ready, pero hindi available. So what we're looking for ay ito. Wait, ako muna. Be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. That's for me. Pero yung yung para sa inyo, the things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses and trust to reliable people who will also be qualified to teach others. Ang dami nyo nang pinagdaanan, no? June 18 pa lang, nag-start na tayong GLC. Nangalahati na kayo noon. Yung ibang pumasa na GLC 1, hindi na nag-endo ng GLC 2. So I think, may pagka-reliable din kayo. No? <laughs> Nung umuwi kami sa, sa Pilipinas last week, may mga minute akong mga tao na, na talagang on fire, mag-disciple, mag, mag, mag 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 back ng church. Ang tao ang sabi ko sa nila, it's good to see uh, crazy people like you. Sabi ko sa nila ganyan. So, for me, no, I think you're special kind of crazy also. Kasi you, you're dif you're crazy for the Lord. Na you are spending one night for God. And so for me, no, We we are in need of reliable people. We we're not we're not looking for talented or gifted. Kung isa yung talented pa sa kagifted yun ng mahirap pasunurin eh. Yun yung inisip nila sila lang yung magaling. But we need reliable. Iba yung reliable, di ba? And for us, no, this, eto, we we see a grown of us, passive role, reliable people. So, balik tayo dun sa una. Sabi ni God, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Okay. You fishers, merong bait. Diba? Yung bait natin is yung word ni God. Yun, yun lang ang bait natin. Yung... Ngayon, Pansin ninyo pagka mayroon tayong guest na pastor sa church, lahat ng tao excited. Lahat, wow! Very nice message. Lahat talagang ano, excited, excited. So pansin ninyo maraming gutom na tao sa, sa, sa atin lang. Pero yung mga gutom na yun, alam nyo hinahanap ng mga yun. Naghahanap yun ng word ni God. Na, we, 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 we do not live by bread alone by the word of God. So pag naamoy nila yung board ni God sa inyo, na naamoy nila, kasi, kasi kung nasa, kung nasa yung pagkain, doon pupunta yung mga yun. Pag naamoy nila yung board ni God sa inyo, naamoy nila yung yung presence ng word ni God na ginagawa ninyo, I think, uh, we will be, ano, ma mahuhuli din sila. Ano? And so, this is our, this is our, uh, our food, this is our bait, and our, our, uh, Uh, foundations are here in the Bible. So even if if uh, you you are not uh, qualified, but uh, trust in the Word. Yun lang yun lang yung yung pag 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 uh, sa natin lahat. Kasi we are not all of us are not enough. No? So let's pray before we go, uh, Lord. Uh, We thank you, Lord, for this night, Lord. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you will answer our prayer, Lord, that you will send 
workers into your field no? from these people or in this class in this room no? may you answer our prayers to you Lord from the people here Lord and may you guard their hearts guard their minds and guard their actions and mouth from God as they follow you as they love you in Jesus name we pray Amen. Pensify, sorry. <laughs> 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 <laughs>